the patient work is incredibly important. One, be in, if we go back to the culture of science, I think making sure that patients have a voice in helping drive and set the research agenda is really important. Like, you know, I went to one of our um, early neurodegeneration conferences and I heard a patient say, a patient with Parkinson's say, you know, yeah, everyone thinks about the tremor and yeah, the tremor is there, but you know what really bothers me? It's like, I'm so tired. I just <laughs> don't have the energy. <laughs> and like, that's a really important insight. I think increasingly having patients engaged in your research actually just makes your research go faster. Um, because, you know, especially in, in rare disease, they're not, uh, you're mis unless you are engaging with patients more broadly, you, you really only have the, f the few patients that come in that live close by to an academic center. And you also actually, with an engaged patient, help you understand new paradigms of medicine. And so I think that's important. And also, um, I think sometimes people lose sight of as we, first of all, rare disease is not rare. There's lots of people with rare disease. I think as we increasingly move down the path of precision medicine, diseases that we sort of lump together today, depression, high blood pressure, are actually all sort of can be broken down into more precise diagnoses. And when you think about it, um, the, if you are able to study the whole human spectrum, a lot of interesting biological insights come out of it. Like, um, you know, a very famous one, oh, the one around um, PCSK9, of how we can actually better address high cholesterol in patients. Like, that's a real important scientific breakthrough. And so I think that the patient community is so rich in so many ways that helps accelerate our ability to do science.